Now formally, if the fourth reaction, up till now we have done the reaction of Grignard reagent with uh, active hydrogen containing compound. We have seen the reaction of Grignard reagent with acid and acid derivatives. We have seen the reaction of Grignard reagent with alkyl halides. Now the reaction of Grignard reagent with carbonyl compound will be the same as we have seen in case of acid derivatives because carbonyl compounds have plus charge polarity on carbon. You have a Grignard reagent, hard, reactive, that will come and attack this carbon. As a consequence, the pi bond will move into the orbital of this oxygen. Now this is a old story. We have seen this repeatedly number of times in the prior reactions. Now you must become very very familiar and comfortable in doing this. I mean you need to do this as you are watching this video. Try out. Work out this on paper and using pen then only you'll get comfortable with this. You must learn to draw this arrow how we are doing. This arrow will always go from electron rich to electron deficient signifying the movement of electron and this arrow will start from pi bond and will result end up on the oxygen. That means the electronic wave of this pi bond is going into the orbital of this oxygen. When this happens we have an alkoxide ion. Now there is no scope of regeneration of this C double bond O because there is no living group as such. So the reaction will stop here. And same will be the reaction with aldehyde instead of this R will have a H. So carbonyl groups, carbonyl compounds will react with Grignard reagent resulting in formation of a alcohol. The fifth major reaction of Grignard reagent is reaction with oxygen. When we have a Grignard reagent RMGX and we add oxygen, when we make Grignard reagent to react with oxygen, when the reaction with Grignard reagent is over, we hydrolyze the formed anion. When we do this, we get alcohol with the same number of carbon as we had in case of R. So basically when you take RMGX you will get ROH. This is a important method of preparation of those kind of alcohol which are on aromatic rings. When we will study the method of preparation of alcohol we will retreat back to this reaction. For now to understand this reaction and to understand the mechanism I am not going to say you everything because we will dig this reaction further when we will study alcohols and that is the right place to study the mechanism of this thing but for now I will give you some feel of how this reaction has happened this reaction has happened because oxygen has two unpaired electrons with those two unpaired electrons oxygen forms bond with R- minus. or you can see it this way that this R- minus is forming a bond with one of the oxygen resulting in movement of this pi bond to another oxygen if you do it, we'll have this kind of structure. So this will be the intermediate that will be formed after reaction of oxygen with Grignard reagent. When you add H plus onto this, this will get neutralized, forming a peroxy linkage. This, this, this. Whenever you have a single bond between oxygen and oxygen, that is called peroxy linkage. This is unstable. This is unstable because there is a repulsion of electron of these two oxygens having two unpaired electrons. So because of this repulsion, these two oxygen moves away from each other to reduce the repulsion. When they move away from each other, the extent of overlapping of the p orbital decreases. And due to that decrement in p orbital overlapping, the bond strength decreases. So this is a very weak bond. So system is not stable whenever we have a peroxy linkage. It breaks very easily on heating and it gets hydrolyzed very easily as well. So when we are adding H plus H2O basically this is the reagent of hydrolysis. So this uh, hydrolyzes this peroxy linkage giving us the alcohol and water. Now this mechanism you must think of yourself after studying so many hydrolysis reactions. Otherwise you are going to see this in the chapter of phenol. So this is a reaction that you must keep in, in, uh, in the list when, uh, of Grignard reagent reaction. This is an important reaction for preparation of phenol and uh, 
for preparation of any other alcohol for that matter which are on benzene ring because in benzene ring we have a problem of substitution we can't prepare alcohol very easily as in case we have as we do prepare alifa al aliphatic alcohols so this reaction is an important reaction Let us see an important uh, simple application of this reaction. Suppose I have been given benzene, I have been asked to prepare phenol out of benzene. So uh, in order to prepare phenol out of benzene there are many other reactions but uh, uh, concerning the reaction that we have done just a moment before, phenol can be prepared out of benzene very easily. If we convert this phenol, I mean if we convert this benzene to halobenzene. Now this conversion we have already studied in the chapter of alkanes where we have studied uh, addition of halogen on benzene ring. So this reaction of halogenation is done when we add this H2 in presence of AlH3. If we are adding Cl2 we will take AlCl3. If we are adding Br2 we will take AlBr3. Addition of F2 do not take place like this because of violent nature of reaction with fluorine. Addition of I2 do not take place like this because of very sluggish nature of reaction with iodine. So basically this kind of addition can be done for chlorine and bromine. And if we do this we will get chlorobenzene or bromobenzene. Once we have chlorobenzene or bromobenzene we can make Grignard reagent out of this. As we have seen in the beginning of Grignard reagent how to prepare Grignard reagent. If we prepare <coughs> Grignard reagent out of this, when we add magnesium to any Rx, where the, whether that R is alif aliphatic or aromatic ring or open chain, that magnesium get inserted between this carbon and this halogen bond. This will form pH minus Mg plus 2 and X minus. And when we do the last reaction that we have seen, when we react this RMgX, here R is pH so when we add O2 this O2 will react forming a peroxy linkage and later on when we hydrolyze this when we add H plus H2O this H plus will come in here first of all the neutralization of this peroxy linkage will take place and then hydrolysis subsequently removing water resulting in production of phenol so we will have phenol and water produced out of it. So this is one of the method of preparation of phenol. Whenever we will study phenol and that we will study preparation of phenol. So this will be study as one of the method of preparation of phenol. So this you have to bear in mind. So the last reaction of Grignard reagent that we are going to see, that's an important one, that is the reaction of Grignard reagent with cyanide. If we add Grignard reagent on this cyanide, now <coughs> again, again, you know, you have to build up concepts because at the end of the course you have to appear in some kind of test and in that test you have, will, you'll be given some kind of substrates and some kind of reagents and you'll be expected out and it will be expected out of you to come up with the correct product now whenever you have been given any substrate and whenever you have been given any reagent you have to think of how to begin the reaction and I have already told you reactions are nothing but electronic transition you have to look for the electron rich site you have to look for electron deficient site and then you have to start the electronic transition now as though this magnesium is also electron deficient if you look by the charge because this magnesium has magnesium has plus 2 unit of charge and this halogen has minus 1 unit of charge but then magnesium plus 2 is very stable because magnesium plus 2 has a normal gas configuration of neon and X minus is stable because that it is more electronegative atom and that is bigger in size so the electronic density of that negative charge in the orbital of X is less so these two are stable so you have to look for 
unstable electron rich site and unstable electron deficient site and start electronic transition between them if you see the cyanide then in the cyanide electron will this nitrogen will have negative charge polarity because it it will pull up the electron from all the all of these three bonds and this carbon will have a positive charge polarity so the negative charge of this r minus will start to get transferred into the orbital of this carbon that's what you have to do and this you have to learn so that you can solve organic reactions by conviction now this r minus uh, will go and attack c plus when this happens c will be forming a new bond with r dash this r dash of grignard reagent so for that one of the previous bond of carbon has to be broken so when carbon does it carbon forms a bond with the alkyl part of grignard reagent and a negative charge develops on this nitrogen because of breaking of the spike bond now here we have uh, negative charge on carbon nitrogen so the substrate now have a negative charge now there will be no further reaction of Grignard reagent because Grignard reagent is electron rich and my substrate now here is also electron rich so there will be no rea further reactions reaction will stop at this stage now to proceed the reaction further I must add H plus from the outer source when I do it first of all protonation of this nitrogen takes place and it forms a imine C double bond N if I have sufficient amount of H plus and I have ad added sufficient amount of H plus and water into the system then the reaction will not stop at this stage because nitrogen has a lone pair and protonation of this nitrogen will take place because H plus in the system if you take water then H plus preferably will go to nitrogen because nitrogen being less electronegative than oxygen will offer its electron to H plus to a greater extent so very easily this nitrogen will get protonated this nitrogen will form a coordinate bond with H plus so we will have this now when we have this this nitrogen becomes positively charged and when a more electronegative atom becomes positively charged it is unstable so what this nitrogen will do it will start to withdraw more of the electron from these two bonds between carbon and nitrogen to satisfy its electron deficiency so when this happens this poor carbon becomes more electron deficient so this poor carbon will call for a rescue from an outer source to accept electron but when anyone will have to give its electron it will have to give one complete electron because if a fractional electron cannot be given for that reason carbon have to generate a deficiency of one complete electron so the former bond of that carbon one of the former bond has to be broken and this is a old story that has been repeated many a times in before in previous reactions so what will happen here is this C, this carbon, being electron deficient, will call for a electron rich atom. Now we have added H plus and water into the system. Now whatever Grignard reagent was there that has been destroyed by this H plus and water. So now the electron rich species present in the system is water, this oxygen N having two pairs of electron. So now this H2O will come to the rescue of this carbon attacking this carbon that means putting its electron into the orbital of this carbon and one of the pi bond between carbon and nitrogen will be broken when this happens this nitrogen will get neutralized because it is already having plus charge and when it gains a negative charge from outer source it will become neutral there will be a bond formed between this oxygen and this carbon